of the room. It's where I sit and I'm feeling very happy. Because to me, blue isn't isn't depressing at all. It's what makes me happy. It's what makes me full of joy. I always ask my friend, you know, what is it about me that makes me so popular? I tell me that it's my it's my joy in life, my my Atlantic towel, <laughs> as they say. This is my glow. I always keep it with me to remind me of my trip around the world. I went there, <laughs> and there, and there, and there everywhere I went because it was around the world. But not really, it was sort of an interior journey, but that's all that matters, doesn't it? It's all an illusion. I'm not really tipping the world over, it's just my worldview. I've always loved gold. Not that I own much gold, just a gold pillow, but I'm happy. After all, there's no one to impress, is there? <coughs> I'm just clapping for myself and the ebullience that seems to be filling the room right now. This is my special chair. It's in my very special corner, too. I lost my virginity in this chair. It's red leather. I've never washed it. Mm -hmm. The music reaches me even here. Those beautiful strains. Those singing violins. That glorious bobo. <laughs> Fat, funny tuba. I love it, then. I often think that I should wear long, white, curly wigs when I'm in this room, but I don't. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about my life, what I've been through, what I've done, how I've kept it all together with hairspray, the goodwill. Because I do believe that that's what keeps people going in this world. It's not money or cars or Jeanette bath products <laughs> or old copies of GQ, but they help. <laughs> when I listen to music, you know, I'm transported. I'm taken somewhere else. Sometimes it's to a trust in a dungeon, but it's somewhere else. I've never had much money, but once I did, I came into a bit of money. A rich financier fell in love with me, thought it was maddening, took me everywhere. <laughs> Clubs. Big easies, <laughs> large double beds and huge suites of rooms in Paris. We swam in the Fontainebleau, drank champagne out of each other's <laughs> shoes. <laughs> oh, it was glorious. But it all fell apart. He was killed. Well, not really killed, but in my mind, he was dead. I love my hands. I think they're beautiful things. Well wrought works of art. <laughs> Me, I'm an all wrought work of art. But you know, why is it that people hurt the things they love? I'd never do anything to hurt my hands. One day I might want to play the piano, and then I, where would I be? I'd be lost. <laughs> Have to wear gloves, you know. Why is it things that are beautiful and joyous, people try to kill? rape and pillage and burn and slash and destroy and maim. Those are just words. Word is a word. <laughs> I never thought of it quite that way. I like to luxuriate like a cat. I like cats. I think cats are so much more noble than dogs. Dogs are vulgar and rough like stevedores. Cats are art curators. <laughs> I love analogies. <laughs> I'm not really drawing my hand across the red bed spread like it appears. It's really hanging over the side of a gondola. And it's trailing in the golden water. I love Venice. I was there once on my world tour. Oh, it was beautiful. Everything was gold in there. The music. The stately people in their lovely clothes. But I was there at the turn of the century, so it was a lot different than now. I'm not a vampire. Well, I, I am a vampire. But so what? I still feel beautiful inside. I court ennui like a courtier. 
courting a beautiful damsel. But I fight it with every fiber of my being as well. Because it's ugly. Self-pity is the most... Well, the most shallow of emotions. You know? And I don't like shallow things. But I like shallow riverbeds because then you can wade in them. If they were deep, you'd drown. And I don't like drowning. But I don't like shallow people. I like people who give and give and... People who have something to offer, like gondoliers in Venice. Oh, they're special people. I think I'll call one now. I had an Italian one. He built for me something, too, something even more special than a home or a building or a bridge or a parapet that a golden princess could lean out of. He built for me a home of love. Then he smashed it. Destroy it. Why? Why must we destroy things? I don't. I build up. Today, I have to admit to you, I've been sort of leading you down the garden path a little bit. I'm not really what I am, but there'll be no sad songs in this sweet, special corner. There'll always be joy. I may not lift you very long. A very severe case of eczema and seborrhea. It's spreading. It could destroy my skin and my mantle. I've been using many skin products over the years, and it just doesn't seem to work. It seems to well, have an allergic reaction to it. And my beauty is minutes away from dying. And I've always got my inner soul. And I'll always be beautiful inside. I look out the window and I am. No one can see me. No one knows who I am, where I come from, where I'm going. Doesn't matter 